I am also very excited about this. It's going to be quite a different one. It'll be my very first Otome game. But yes, from my understanding, an otome game is a visual novel and it has usually some romantic elements to it. This will be my very first one. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what to expect. Unfortunately though, as you probably saw at the start, I can only show you chapter one, but I guess we'll just go for it. Anyway, let's see what chapter one brings. The police station visiting room is covered in dust and reeks of mold. A man sits down and throws his legs up on the table. Oh, it's also voice acted in Japanese. And you're Limbo, the crooked lawyer. Look, buddy, if you're gonna ask me to defend you, don't stop calling me a crooked lawyer. It stings. Um, you're not allowed to bring food or drinks in here. For real? Sorry, I'll just mm, finish this real quick, like. No, I mean, you're not allowed to eat in here. Mm, there we go. Food's gone. We good now? Jeez, just call me if anything happens. What time is it? Right now? Uh, 4.47pm. I remember hearing the evening news on the electronic billboard, so it was probably around 5 p.m. Just a little longer. Limbo grimaces suspiciously. He still doesn't know why I'm here. In 13 minutes, you're going to die at the central core. Don't know if you get stabbed or shot, but either way, you die at central core. <laughs> you should make your jokes a bit funnier, you know. This isn't a joke, listen to me. I called you here because I thought you might survive if you're not there at that point in time. Sorry, but if you're thinking of going with an insanity defense, that's against my policy. I'll get you ruled innocent without petty tricks, assuming you're worth it. No, listen, I'm not this man. What was his name again? Never mind. Anyway, I'm not this man. I'm actually... So, split personalities? Dissociative identity disorder, yeah? Again, if that's the angle you're going for, look for another lawyer. For those who are a little bit lost, the person that's talking right now is actually the protagonist. I don't know if I should be revealing that. Will it reveal itself later on? Please, we don't have any time. Just hear me out. Are you the type to talk to the screen while you're watching a movie? 
No, I keep my mouth shut when I watch a movie. Doesn't mean I won't talk out if it's a boring flick. <sighs> Listen, my name is... It is the main character, but from the sounds of it, she's trapped in a different body. I think I'll keep her name as is. My name is Teuta. Teuta? Dominguez, Teuta? I thought your name was Dominguez, right? I'm sure you won't understand what I mean. But I saw you die right in front of me. This is nonsense. I'm leaving. Wait, okay, let's do this, alright? Come to the cafe at the White Earp after this, okay? It's called Harry and Keith. If you meet me there, I'll prove I'm really Teuta. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really trying to say I'm fated to die, and you went back in time to call me here and prevent it from happening? That's right. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I should let this play. A few hours earlier. Any spots you're dissatisfied with? The wrinkles around my eyes stand out, but I heard working too much on them makes them uglier when you get old. Am I being too conscious about it? Oh, is Helvetica a plastic surgeon? You're the one looking at yourself in the mirror every day. There's no such thing as being too conscious. Maybe making your lips a bit thicker is a good idea. Uh, um, sir, I... Daijoubu. いつでもあなたの味方ですよ。美しくなることを恐れないで。Why is he whispering? I am slightly concerned. Don't worry, I'm always on your side. You shouldn't be afraid of being beautiful. 全身の熱傷は死後のものと考えられる。死亡前の損傷としては、尺骨と頭骨、それに死骨と中止骨に細かい骨折がみられる。Oh, excuse me, we've moved on from plastic surgery now, and we're... Are we at the morgue? The lacerations were inflicted post-mortem. The only wounds that were inflicted pre-death were to the ulna and radius. Fractures on the phalanx and metacarpal. So the bones of the arm and hand. Yeah. <laughs> You broke your bones before you were burnt, right? I know it hurt, but it wouldn't have been enough to kill you. Tell me, how did you die? The chief's talking to the corpse again. Is he expecting it to answer him if he asks it how it died? If you think I can't hear you, go to the ENT department. And if you expect the corpse to answer me, go to the psychiatric ward. Either way, the hospital's that way. Oh, Mr. Shu? 
それがオシさんの教えだ。Sorry, Teach taught me never to leave a chance for revenge. Did he just. Did he just kill someone? 自分が死ぬ日を選べるやつはいないが、今日はまあ、マシな方じゃないか。天気もいいし、渋滞もない。No one gets to pick the day they die, but today is as good a day as they come, isn't it? The weather's nice, the traffic's good. まあ、もう聞こえちゃいないか。Guess you can't hear me anymore, huh? Oh no! 弁護側の証人の発言は事件そのものへの関与を示唆するものに思えますあなたはこの殺人に関与し I believe the statement of the defense's witness gave implies involvement in the crime You took part in this murder 異議あり今この証人に質問しているのは僕です裁判長ではありません I guess we're getting introduced to the different characters Objection I'm the one questioning this witness at the moment Not you, your honor 隠していることがあるんですか法廷での偽証は許されませんよ。Do you have anything to hide? This courtroom does not look upon perjury lightly. 嘘をつくのと黙っているのとでは大きく意味が違います。裁判長なら修正第5条くらいご存知でしょう。There's a difference between lying and holding your tongue. Are you familiar with the Fifth Amendment, Your Honor? 弁護人は黙りなさい。これは殺人事件の。The attorney will be quiet. This is a murder case. 裁判長を忌避します。I call for recusation of the judge. な、何なんですか法廷侮辱罪に問いますよ。What, what? I ought to have you held in contempt of the court. 目秘権を軽視するのは法廷侮辱罪に当たらないんですか And making light of the right to remain silent isn't in contempt of the court? <笑>明日まで休廷とします。Uh, this courtroom is to be suspended until tomorrow.So that was limbo. <笑>待たせたな、スケアクローだ。それじゃあ、いいニュースと悪いニュース。それからもっと悪いニュース。どれから聞く ?Sorry to have kept you waiting. It's scarecrow. I've got good news, bad news. And worse news. What do you want to hear first? Oh, another intro. Gosh, there's a lot of intro in this game. Welcome, everyone, to Buster Fellows. So, no, no, Sasa to Hikoshina Sayo. You're in a little eye, Danny. Ten Joga Nukete, watch the Kitara Dawson, no, sir. So, I eat them a tie and no. 入居した時の契約にあれが入ってたとか入ってなかったとかでむしろ修理費用を負担しなきゃいけないかもしれないって。You say that, but it's not that simple. When I moved in, I think the contract may have mentioned that. I might end up having to cover the repair fees. Put nicely, my apartment on Penny Lane is, uh, old fashioned. Put less nicely, it's an old dump. The city sent a notice that the building is insufficiently resistant to earthquakes. And said we have to either have the place rebuilt or torn down. Meaning, I'd need to look for a new place to live either way. Anta ga sumi hajime ta toki kara, ano iya wa boro katta nda kara, ima ni mo koare so na no wa oya no sekinin da tsu no. Hikkoshi hi o daste mo ratta te ii kara da rama. That place has been a wreck since before you moved in. The landlord should have been responsible for fixing it. Heck, they should cover for your moving expenses. Nde, do suru nda? Bengoshi de mo tsukeru no ka? So, what are you gonna do? Get a lawyer? 契約書を隅から隅まで読んでなかったのが悪いって言われたら、そりゃそうなんだけどさ。でも、弁護士雇うのっていくらかかるんだろう。I mean, if he says it's my fault for not reading through the contract, I'd have nothing to say. Besides, won't a lawyer be expensive? アダムに相談すれば私だっていくらかは金貸せるし。Can't you ask Adam for help? I can lend you a bit of money too. ダメ私友達とは絶対お金のやり取りしないって決めてるの No, I make it a point to never exchange money with my friends. It's then that I suddenly hear Adam's voice from a nearby TV. It's probably the evening news. Adam, 
あいつ相当稼いでるだろうからちょっとくらいいいじゃんか I mean he's not exactly struggling to make ends meet he can lend you a little money Adam Krylov Krylov? Krylov? His family runs a large corporation in Russia. He chose not to inherit the family business and works as a popular celebrity in New Siege. But he's still holding on to that photo. Yikes, it was so adorable. The three of us were childhood friends, grew up in the same neighborhood, went to the same school. Luke is a cop, Adam's a newscaster, and I'm a journalist. My older brother was why I chose this career. Six years ago, my brother died. He was a cop, and as he spent time in the most gruesome crime scenes, his spirit cracked somehow. Oh, okay. Let's read this little news excerpt. Parts of body found in the abandoned barn believed to be missing man, and body found in the abandoned barn in Buffalo Bill. Police discovered the parts of human body on a Sunday evening. After a search was launched following discovery of what was thought to be Zora Bridges' belongings, a post mortem investigation was due to take place tomorrow. Before I knew it, he changed to someone else. My brother disappeared into a world of drugs and gangs, and soon enough, he really did vanish. How did you get killed? I became a freelance journalist. Frantically spending my days hunting for scoops. My weekly column is definitely not gonna be enough to cover my moving fees though. This is ground control. Come in, come in. What? What were we talking about? Wait, what? Did you do your uh time hopping shtick again? No, no, I was just thinking, you know, about my moving fees, and my moving fees, and uh, my moving fees. Anta's that if only that power of yours was a bit more convenient. If you could like, go back to before you signed the lease for that crummy apartment. So yes, so that's apparently one power that our protagonists have, is that she can go back in time. But I think for shorter periods only. If I could do that, I wouldn't be having this headache. I can go back in time, but I'd be in someone else's shoes. Like, in some old man's body. That's the other thing as well. When she does go back in time, she's not Teuta anymore. She's another different person in that particular time. And it's not like I can go back that far in time. Like I was saying, it's limited. Convenient or not, you still don't know why you can do it, right? Adam's worried about you, thinks it's some neurological disease or something. At least she's like sharing this with her friends. I'm fine. Besides, Adam scheduled an appointment for me a while back. Not that I asked for it. The psychologist gave me a detailed exam back then. Well, I have to say I'm still half in doubt about this whole thing. But I am worried about you. Alright? Yeah, thanks. Ah, oh, sorry, that's my phone. Right, let's see. What is it this time? Uh, again? Luca takes out her cell phone and her brows furrow the moment she opens the text message. What's wrong? Limbo, that's what. That crooked lawyer. Keeps getting in the way of our investigation. 
The persecutor won't stop nagging because of him. He's a nuisance. Limbo Fitzgerald, a famous attorney here in New Siege. And he's not just any lawyer, he's a crooked lawyer. He can get an innocent verdict for any case, no matter how incriminating, and by legal means at that. Seeing him at work is thrilling, and he's seen as a hero. That guy's super popular. I've been going after him for a while, hoping I could get an interview out of him. Are you seriously trying to write an article about that guy? I mean, you know what they call him? Defender of the Weak and all that. That's the part that pisses me off. There's a lot of absurd stuff the police has to just put up with, and he just dances around it all. The right thing to do doesn't always lead to happy endings. Oh, here we go. Hilda's philosophical ramblings. Luca. Oh! Oh, Mozu. It's not every day I see you around here. Oh, they know each other. Luca ni yonga atta dake. Koko ni irutte kiita kara. Kore o watashi. I've got business with you. I heard you were here, so I came by to deliver this. An autopsy report? I don't remember any urgent cases. It's not a big case, but I figured the faster I finish the autopsy, the sooner you can bury the body. You say that, but we still don't know who the victim is. Figuring that out ASAP is your job. The young man, Mozu, speaks indifferently. Yeah, we'll work our butts off. Oh, this is your first time meeting him. This is Mozu, head of the coroner's office. This is Teuta, friend of mine and a freelance reporter. Head of an office? He looks pretty young. Nice to meet you. Same here. Hello. I extend my hand for a shake, but he doesn't take it. Did I do something awkward? He keeps staring at me for some reason. Um, can I help you? Skeletal structure? Um, I just think you have a very good skeletal structure. Your skeletal framework is Caucasian, but your eye sockets are smooth. Cavities are quite fair. What are you on about, Mozu? I, um, I'm honestly not sure if that was a compliment I should be thanking you for. I make to retract my extended hand, but that's when he suddenly decides to clasp it. Goodbye then, Teuta. With those words, he leaves the bar. Weird fellow, isn't he? But he's a certified genius. Youngest head of the coroner's office in history. A real professional when it comes to corpses. I'm not sure that's a positive title to hold. Oops, almost time for me to get back to work. So, the bill here. Luca takes out a coin and flicks it in the air, catching it on her palm. Oh, I'm gonna end up having to pay for it. What did I say? What did I say? The coin on Luca's hand shows heads. Guess I lost. <laughs> Thanks for picking up the tab. I take out $12 from my wallet 
What, weren't we talking about my moving fees before, Luca? And you're making me spend $12? I take out $12 from my wallet and place it on the slip. So, yeah, Oh yeah, you mentioned coming to the station later, right? Something about an interview? Oh yeah, I've got a bit of time before I'm supposed to be there. Never met them before, but they asked me for an interview. It smells like a scoop. Right, I hope so. I'll be going out after this, so we'll only see each other tonight. Oh yeah, wanna bet on if Adam's gonna be late? He'll be late. <laughs> no point in betting, huh? I'm excited to meet this Adam guy. We know he's the newscaster and he's one of our childhood friends. Luca goes back to the police station. Friday afternoon, there's a faint air of excitement to the city. They say riders walk to look for ideas, and I've got a lot of things to investigate. There's that weird site, we'll circle. All the information on it is unreliable rumors. Hmm? That's Limbo? It is. That's Limbo. Limbo Fitzgerald. I spot a man with a white coat standing in the middle of the crowd. He's surrounded by reporters, their cameras flashing at him non-stop. Maybe I can at least give him my business card. All right. Hello, Mr. Limbo. Woo! A large cameraman pushes me away, and I can't quite get close to him. It's an attorney's job to believe a client when they say they're innocent, even if they know the client's guilty. Can we take this as you admitting your client is guilty? Forget all that. If I let the truth drag me down, I wouldn't be able to work as a lawyer. Mrs. Sloan is apparently terribly irritated by you. That's good. You can tell Sloan this. The best lawyer you can hire is a lawyer you hate. That way, He'll put your opponent through the same pain. Can I ask you one more question? Ah, uh, no, that's enough. My poor burrito is getting cold. See ya. Limbo slips past the reporters and walks off, stuffing his cheeks with a burrito. Now! Excuse me, Mr. Limbo! Limbo Fitzgerald! Hmm, hmm? What is it? Excuse me, I'm a freelance reporter and I'd like to ask for an interview. Okay, hold your horses. I hate surprise interviews, okay? Plus, I've got an appointment now. Sorry. Uh, uh, no. well, wait! It's not often you see young reporters jot things down on a notepad all analog like that though. I kinda like that. Anyway, bye bye. What an arrogant. He swiftly takes out a business card. I accept it and Libro walks off with a smile. He's gone. Well, at least we got his business card. The law office of Limbo Fitzgerald, huh? The phone numbers 1-800-NO-GUILT? No sense of guilt. Talk about classy. I should call him up later and negotiate an interview. Oh 
her tell Halsey. <sighs> I am going to leave it there for now before we get introduced to Shu. Seems pretty interesting so far. We're just getting introduced to our characters at the moment and what they do, which is very interesting. We just got told that our skeletal structure is fine, which is also weird, but I'm going to leave it there for now. Anyway, let me know what you think of the game so far. Uh, sound off down below if you've played Otome games before and if you have any recommendations of other ones that I could play. But thank you very much for watching and for spending time with me. And I'll hopefully see you next time. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye.